Good morning, peeps. It's been a minute. Coming at you with another vid from the room with a view. I call this by room with a view. It is also my war room. What do I mean by war room? My spiritual war room. Do you have a spiritual war room? doesn't have to be a room with a view. It can be a room with a spirit of the Lord in you. A closet, a broom closet, a bathroom, wherever. You got to make yourself a space. See that prayer rug? And also, the greatest tool ever is the word in you. The Spirit of the Lord Yeshua Mashiach. But yeah, get you a place where you can have peace. And it doesn't have to be a physical peace. I'm talking about mental and spiritual peace of mind. So that you can connect to your power in the Holy Spirit of Yeshua Mashiach. Jesus Christ. Listen, people come to you with a word because the Lord says be still and know that I am the Lord God and a still quiet voice he comes to you so where you gotta be somewhere quiet so you can hear or you gotta be quiet in your spirit so that you can hear what the Lord has for you because he has a word for every one of you and that word is more precious than gold and silver because his word will lead you to all the blessings you need I was thinking about people who rob they are the dumbest foolish most foolish people ever because do they not know you cannot rob God that he has everything. He owns the universe and all in it, above it, beneath it. And he said, you have not because you ask not. Ask anything in my name, saith the Lord Jesus Yeshua. And it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together. And I am a witness to that. Everything that I have is because I ask my Father in heaven. I ask my Lord and Savior, Yeshua. But the problem is when people see you with physical blessings, they can't see the spirit behind the physical. They don't know from whence cometh your blessings. The Bible says it comes, every good thing cometh from the Lord God. So he said, seek ye first his kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. And that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, in, he is the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. So seek Jesus Christ first and all else shall be given unto you. Everything else you need will be follow in place because when you follow Christ when you follow righteousness it leads to the physical realm blessings as well as the spirit so I'm coming to you with some food for the spirit and for thought but for those who don't believe the Bible says the, the fool says in his heart there is no God so you're called a fool by the Lord God not by me you're a fool if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus, you are a fool. Because you only see partly with what your physical eyes give you, but you don't see the spiritual realm. And I'm going to tell you who do not believe and who think you can rob God or God's children or touch anything that the Lord has blessed his children with. Let me tell you something about my father. My father... Abba Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and the Fa Heavenly Father, because he said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So basically, he embodies our Father in heaven. When you touch his children, just like if anybody could walk up in your house and try to do something to your children, 
What are you going to do about it? The word of my Lord God says, Touch not my anointed. And let me tell you something else, a tool you need in your war room, your prayer room. Let me show you. Now, it can be any olive oil, anointing oil. And you bless that oil in the name of Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach. Don't put your faith in the oil now. Don't go into idol worship. But pray over it and ask the Lord Yeshua to pour his spirit into your blessed oil. In the name of Yeshua Amashiach, I use his Aramaic Hebrew name because he is a Jewish God, but he's a God of everyone. But his name is powerful, so I try as much to use Yeshua. And our Father's name is Yahweh. But anyway, whether you say the name that way in the spirit, you know who he is. Because if his spirit lives in you. So... Bless that oil in the name of Jesus Christ or Yeshua Amashiach. And then anoint everything in your children, your home, your animals. Bless your animals. Do you think not Abraham blessed everything? Because God blessed him. He blessed his animals. His animals multiplied. His children multiplied. His land and his wealth multiplied. His years of health multiplied. So that anointing of the Lord blesses you and your children and generations now. And it protects you. Now. Just like you might brand a horse or a mule or anything that is yours as a brand. If you're a farmer or a cowboy or something, you have a herd. And you want to let people know, don't touch my animal. He may stray out of the herd, but this brand on him seals and lets you know I own him. That anointing oil seals and brands you just like The mark of the devil, the mark of the beast. The devil is going to mark his children when he comes. And, you know, unfortunately, he's going to have a... He is loose on earth now, but I mean, he's going to be physically loose on earth. He's spiritually loose. But he's coming in a physical form. And you people better wake up because he's going to put his mark on his wicked. But if you are sealed or branded... With the mark of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, he cannot touch you. Because his spirit in you is greater than that evil spirit in the world. So you don't have to worry about tribulation, post, pre, whatever. You are branded. You are sealed. You are anointed with the Holy Spirit of the Most High Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, his only begotten son. So now... The devil has no right to cross your threshold or touch anything, anyone, anything the Lord blessed you with and sealed with the Holy Spirit. And if you dare touch, if you are of that mark of the beast and you serve that wicked one and you try to touch anything anointed, let me tell you people... Go back and read and study and show yourself approved of the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because his word says this. That it would be better that a millstone be tied around your neck and you thrown to the bottom of an ocean. If you touch any hair upon his little ones. And we are called his little ones because compared to how high and above he is over us, we are children. We will all, just like you look at your little children, will they ever equal up to your knowledge until they grow up? We haven't grown up, so we are called little ones. And you better not touch his little ones. Anyone that try to rob or touch anything of God, read about Aaron's sons. Read about, there's many stories in the Bible where people touched holy things and anointed things back in the Old Testament and they weren't supposed, and they just in a pile of ashes or they just got struck down right there on the dot, dropped dead. I'm telling you, 
every one of those wicked persecutors of Jesus Christ, he didn't, they didn't take his life. He laid it down. They thought they took his life. But anyone that touched him and was participating in the false witnessing and the persecutions and the scourging beatings, they died a horrible way. Judas' guts busted out as he was running down a hill. He split wide open and his guts ran out of him. For the 30 pieces of silver he tried, He's, he get, gained the world's riches, but he lost his soul and his life. Touch the anointed one. Christ means anointed. Okay, Pilate suicided himself. All the Pharisees and the people that said, His blood be upon our hands and our children. Listen, I'm not a Jew hater, but the Jewish people, 16 million died in the Holocaust. They are other than African Americans, and we might be a part of that black Hebrew, but they are cursed. Or they're generations because they said, crucify him and let his blood be upon our hands and our children. They cursed themselves. They touched the anointed. Listen, people, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You go into a person who has anointed themselves and called them, and, and the Lord calls them his children, his little ones. You go in and try to rob, steal, kill, destroy, take anything, touch anyone or anything anointed, appointed, sealed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, you are committing suicide. You're going to weep a harvest of death. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my children. Touch not anything, anyone the Lord has branded. You can't rob God. And if you do, the Lord himself calls you a fool. For a fool in his heart said, there is no God. How can you say there is no God? When you can see that the heavens declare his works. No man can make a sun and put it up there to heat up the whole universe. And to be honest, man's map does not portray the real fullness of the glory of the Lord. We don't know how much land is on this earth because no man has really crossed the boundaries of it. We only know what they say they know. But are there really only seven continents? Or are there more lands to be explored? The space is indefinite. No man knows its bounds because God has no boundaries he can give you anything that's why you're a fool to rob someone when you can go to your father if you are anointed by him and ask anything in his name and he will get it to you you don't have to take anything or rob anything from anyone when you can have the blessing too okay that's the word for today people be blessed by the anointing of his spirit and following after him with all your heart, mind, and spirit. Seeking the kingdom, Jesus Christ, and his righteousness. And everything can be given unto you. Pressed down, shaken together. Amen.